Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta is not campaigning for Raila Odinga. <laughs> Mimi nawaambia kitu kimoja peke yake. Ya kwamba wagojee miaka kumi, Uhuru amalize kazi yake, alafu wagojee miaka ingine kumi, Ruto amalize kazi yake. On this one, we are pretty sure, pretty sure, almost 70% that Uhuru Kenyatta is not campaigning for Raila na mutakuja kuniambia. You might want to disagree but the truth will always uh, come out. Sasa wewe William kuja uongee kidogo na wewe. I think I think you have answered the uh... Let's go back kidogo. Uh, these people have a history. Mm, they have a very huge history. A political one, um, a friendship one. Eh? since the days of baba zao and you remember baba ya uhuru kenyata alikuja mount kenya akaambia watu mpaka they took vows eh? walikunywa muuma eh? they made sacrifices na wakasema they will never elect uh, anyone from the from the odingas not this Kenyatta did hakuchukulisha watu muma ndio wasiwahi chagua waluo no it's not a luo thing <laughs> it is the odingas i am not talking about a community i am not talking about luos i am talking about a specific man by the name of Raila Amolo Odinga who does not want peace for this nation and that is not hate speech Kikuyus and Mount Kenyans don't have any problem with the laws. In fact, we interact very well when it comes to business, socializing, marriages. A lot of marriages work between Luos and Kikuyus. But Luos and uh, where, where the problem comes in is the uh, Railas, uh, the Odingas. <laughs> we selling the Odingas in Mount Kenya is very difficult. <laughs> that aside, uh, number one, handshake was not for uniting Kenyans. Kenyans are tujawai kuwa uh, ununited, atujawai. Never. We have always been united. Always been united. Number one cause for handshake. Nafaa muelewe hii. It was drafted um, <laughs> by corroboration of the president and the deputy president. Hii ni kitu walipanga wote wawili. I also want to thank my deputy. My deputy president. Because all in all, along that path, I kept him abreast of what was going on he was part and parcel it's the truth i'm not lying ask him is here he was part and parcel in fact he helped me identify some of the wazes i just mentioned here Walika chini wakaona uh, what can we do uh, to stop this person so the handshake initially was not even to unite any kenyans ilikuwa ya stop raila odinga and it is working it has worked massively because mioto za raila odinga zilienda chini sio sio tenda wili tenda wili Anaishi kwa mwili ya binadamu. Lakini ana tabia ya kinyonga. Nani hiyo? Nani hiyo? Mshindwa. Unipate mimi mji basi. Eh? Eh? Kibra. Sawa. Hiyo ni nywele. Mm. Now the president knows and he knows very clearly <laughs> everything that is happening right now is being blamed on him and Raila Odinga 
wewe ukiwa mtu mwelevu unafaa kujua mm. in order to defeat the enemy and you are a whole team some members of your team may pretend to be siding with the enemy so that uamtupishe mbao kanini kega ukimwangalia anaambiwa ni yeye anapigia ana, anaombea Raila kura and when you look at this hajaeka picha ya baba katika posta yake hii ni posta yake yenye anaeka keni mnaiona watu kama hawa ambao tunasema na unaongoza hii hii jubili wanauza baba kama bangi kwa mfuko alright and now these are nini role ya kutupisha the enemy mbao that is where the president came in sijui kama mnaelewa vile naambia eh mimi tena hiyo hiyo sio rais mtarajiwa sijui kama mnanishika eh after here um Sidani, I want to run for any other seat. So, even if my legacy and my reputation will be bad, ile plan yetu the initial plan with the William Ruto ya kuni succeed, it will go through. I might go home with a bad name, but my friend mwenye tuliingia na yeye kwa nini? Lazima ataingia as we planned. And this is where I think the president is playing along. Actually the president has no problem. Ndio maana unaona kila mahali akisimama ile kitu ataongea. It's either ya kumchomea yeye mwenyewe na kuchukana na, na kuchomea Raila. Because he knows. Eh? If we take tuchukue ile mambo kweli inaonekana tumefanya vibaya. Eh? Na ilianza kufanyika lini ile wakati Raila aliingia kwa kiti. So who is the cause? Eh, ile time Raila aliingia kwa gava. So who is the cause of these manenos? The president is aware of that. Lakini Mr. Raila Amolo Odinga is not aware of that. He thinks that the president is for him, which is not the case. President is silently campaigning for William Samoei Ruto. And that is why I think alifanya hii ikiwa intentional. He went and rendered the office of the deputy president useless. Akachukua the powers which deputy president had, akazipatia matiani to execute the things that the deputy president was supposed to execute. So that deputy president could have ample time building connections huku chini na wananchi wa kawaida. <laughs> Then akachukua Raila akamweka zile zile miradi alikuwa anafaa kwenda ku with the deputy president anachukua Raila wanaenda na yeye kutupisha huyu jamaa ambao so that hatakuwa na time yoyote ya ku na watu na ile time atakuja kwa ground ku na watu atakuta he kilishaibiwa kitambo wenyeji walishafika kitambo now hapa ndiyo shida inakuja hmm? actually ingekuwa very easy kuuza nani Raila Mount Kenya if Raila hangeingia kwa kwa gava and things ziende venye zimeenda hmm? high cost of living ipande kama Raila hangekuwa na handshake hiyo ingekuwa another thing tungekuwa kwa street side tuki demonstrate na eventually Raila angeingia with uh, 90 plus 1% you watu watakuwa against the, the current government but these people are wise these people are wise mimi i believe William Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta are working together they are working together whether you like it or not whether you like it or not and Uhuru is not for Raila Uhuru is not for Raila That is why kila mahali anasimama anachoma anachoma because anajua he will not be blamed alone <laughs> he will not be blamed alone anajua kila mahali akisimama akichoma he will be blamed alone uh, he will be blamed as the president and kutakuwa na mtu hii ingine ya handshake yenye ilikuja kuharibu maneno that is why the president is chomaling the way anataka juzi amesimama akasema hiyo cause anajua ilikuwa intentional so that people bash raila akasimama akasema watu wenye walikuwa wanafaa kumsaidia siku hizi hawamsaidiangi he knew in his brain that watu watakuja na waseme the reason why people who are wakusaidiangi is because ulichukua mtu mwingine ukamweka hapo katikati siwaambie sasa huyo mtu wako akusaidie hmm? na alijua kikama out aseme watu wenye wanafaa kumsaidia hawamsaidiangi watu wanasema oh, oh kumbe kwa nini nini mnafanyanga na Raila sina muitaka my brother so Raila is the problem You see? <laughs> I don't want to talk much on this topic because it's a very broad topic na kila mtu ako na opinion zake. But tell me what you think kwa comment section. That was Let's Talk podcast. My name is Daddy Blessing. Make sure to watch out for this podcast manzi. I'll make sure I'll be posting episodes each and every time that nitakuwa nikimanage but 